Coach Sam Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Uh, 142 points. Obviously, it's going to be tough to, to win any game when you allow that many. What, what were you seeing on that end of the floor tonight? Well, it, it's we need to sit down and guard. We talked about getting into the basketball. And again, I'll go back and look at the film and see how many times we crawled into the ball and or whether it was a blow by. And our, we got to do a better job protecting the rim and keeping having someone there to protect us. Um, again, it started with the ball pressure. It also got some turnovers going. But again, I'll go back and look at the film and see exactly where it is. But 142 is too much. All right. With, with the second chance points as well, um, I think they had 17 going into the fourth. I'm not sure what they finished with, but, but just how much a, a, of a problem was that giving them extra opportunities in addition to the way they were shooting the ball? So them shooting the basketball well, us giving up second chance points as well as turning the basketball over, that's a recipe for you know not giving yourself a chance. Uh, so we just got to we'll look at it. We got to learn from it. We got to understand where we can hit guys on box outs, uh, make sure we continue to take care of the basketball, uh, and then just getting back in transition and keeping them out of our paint. Minus the, the turnovers, you got seven guys in double figures tonight. Um, you know, are you starting to see progress from from the team from an offensive standpoint? Well, you know, you score 130, you should give yourself a chance, but you give up 142. And I, we, we're going to continue to say it, and we're going to keep hitting home on it that the, the defensive side of the floor is what it travels. It's not. It's, we get, cannot get into a shootout with certain teams. Uh, we got to make sure that we're sitting down and guarding and taking pride in the defensive side of the floor. Go ahead, Joel. Questions for Coach? Uh, Philip Rossman Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Coach, kind of, kind of building, building on that. Um, you know, obviously the, the team's defensive numbers for the season aren't, you know, maybe where you, where you want them either. Are you seeing the team kind of getting in, getting into that, into that defensive mindset that you want them to, to get into? Well, tonight it was tough. Uh, I, I think you, you know, you play a team like this that is, you know, has a high-powered offense and they can score and they can shoot the ball well. You know, you have to do things early. You got to get into the ball early. You have to make them uncomfortable. And I think we have to continue to work on, you know, getting our ball pressure up, continue to work on being at the level of screens. But there's, you know, we'll continue to get better at it and we'll take a look at the film and, and, and continue to see where we can get better. Josh Cohn, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Coach. Uh, Sacramento went on that, I believe it was 16 to 2 run early in the third quarter after you guys took a lead. Uh, what did you see there was, I know there were some turnovers during that stretch. Uh, were you guys just not able to slow them down in transition? What were some of the things that you saw in that particular stretch? Uh, if, if I can just recall it from for at this moment, I'd have to say it was the turnovers that sparked it. Uh, I really believe that you know, we all talk about it being a five possession game at times. Uh, it can go five possession one way or the other. And at that, at that point, I think it ballooned. Uh, so again, it was the turnovers. Uh, we have to make sure we get back. And then it was some second chance points. It's what second chance points as well. But we just have to look at the film and see exactly what it was where we can, you know, stop those runs and uh, execute better and make sure we can set our defense. Go, Philip, go ahead. I'm um, just looking, looking at the, at the offense a little bit. Uh, play, it seemed like you played a lot through Wendell in, in the high post tonight um, with the way that he's able to pass the ball. Is that something that you're looking to do a little bit more or, or, or how do you, how do you kind of get, get him going to a little bit more uh, uh, with, with his shot attempts and his ability to pass the ball? Well, that was a little bit of, of the ability to try to pace the game, uh, get the ball moving from side to side as well, playing some backside actions with our guards, making sure they're com you know, coming off handoffs, being able to turn the corner. But Dell has done a great job of being able to make decisions, uh, getting guys involved and you know, trying to make the right play uh, throughout the game. So those are, those are things that we'll continue to look at. And you know, he's earned that right. And he continues to work every single day to get better at that. All right, thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Um, you can't tell right now. I'm still talking that game. It was a lot of possessions. We just like it, we got into a shootout and, and lost, and it's that's not how we want to play. So I mean, we just we, we gotta we gotta be better than that. We gotta hold ourselves to higher standards, and we just really gotta at the end of the day just have the mentality that we want to guard. And tonight we we didn't have that. Kind of along those lines, Cole. Just just. How much for this team in particular right now does defense need to be the calling card and, and the type of team that, that you want to build for? I mean, it, 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 right now, I mean, it, it has to be. We don't, we don't, we don't have no a LeBron James. We don't, we don't have that dude. I mean, we gotta, we we can't just bring it like half half 
we can't just you know bring half effort and expect it to just turn out in our way. We gotta we gotta bring our best every single night to just have a chance to win a game. That's just that that's the and that's the level we gotta hold ourselves to. From an offensive standpoint, obviously you put up a season high as a, as a group tonight. Is it starting to flow more on, on that end, or are you already seeing progress on the offense? I mean, yeah, I think we've made progress on the offensive side past couple of games, but I mean, end of the day, like that, it don't mean nothing if like one, if we, we don't defend and if we can't outscore the other team. So, I mean, that's like, that's why we just gonna have to, just at the end of the day, just we're gonna have to guard. Go ahead, Joel. Joel Brosnan Reich, Orlando Magic Daily. Hey Cole, kind of, build, kind of building on that, where, where, where do you think the defense needs to, needs to improve, improve the most? Is it just individual guys kind of taking responsibility for their man or just improving rotations? Just where, where, specific, where specifically does the defense need to kind of step its game up? I think in every single area you just named, in every single area on the defensive side, it's just like we got to be more crisp in our rotations. We got to just have some pride and want to guard our man one on one. And then even in, if we do do that, we do get beat. We got to have our brothers back. Like that don't mean just oh the big comes over and helps and and you know makes them miss a shot. We, at the, at the other guard then has to come in and crack that big and make sure they don't get an offensive rebound. We saw that happen several times tonight, and that's just I, I, I take a lot of responsibility with that. But it's us as a team. We gotta we just gotta want to do that more. We gotta just have our brothers backs. You alluded to it a little bit about the about the pace, you know, and the way that the Kings play. They like to get get up and down the court. How much how much did that tonight maybe have an effect on, effect on on the defense? Just especially with you guys able to score and, and maybe keep up with them a little bit. I mean, we were we, we were playing right into their hands. I mean, that's what they want to do. They want to get out there and score a bunch. That's that's and I mean, most will tell you. I'm sure he told you that's not how we want to play. We we don't want to do that. We want to guard and we have to guard. And so that, that just is it's pitiful what we did tonight. On OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Cole, uh, do you feel like it's a case of maybe just not being physical enough, or do you think it's something more along the lines of communication on defense? What do you think it kind of is that you guys can really, like, improve, whether it be a physical thing or a mental thing? I just I, – once again, I think it's every single thing you just listed and, and more. Like, we just – we got to be more physical. We got to just want to guard more. It's 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 so it, – there's there's not just one thing I can tell you right now that's just a – that's just a – the answer to, to for everything. So, I mean, I just, it, it's, it's so many things that we just got to do better as a group and as a unit. Any final questions? Thank you, Cole.